Back here now, Springfield's Greening the Gateway Cities program reaching a new neighborhood today. Dozens of trees planted around East Springfield with another session set for tomorrow. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean has the story. The city of Springfield, neighborhood advocates and corporate partners came together to beautify East Springfield Friday. This is conservation in action. The Greening Gateway Cities program helped by a horde of volunteers planting 50 trees Friday and Saturday around East Springfield, chasing a total of 200 for the neighborhood. You no, know, these projects are great because we start with, you know, kind of an empty canvas and you get a bunch of people in here, put their efforts in, and by the end of the day, you can really see the change. It's almost, it's instant. The benefits of trees to communities quick to appear and long lasting. These trees within the next, you know, 15 or so, 10 to 15 years will be of a significant size and really create an, an impact. Trees generate important environmental benefits and ecosystem services like shade, they sequester carbon, they store carbon. The group of volunteers representing the neighborhood, workers from both Eastman Chemical and Duck Pack, plus residents and crews from the Hampton County Sheriff's Department Work Initiative Program. These diverse partnerships allowing this program to move into East Springfield for the very first time, something neighbors told me means a lot. It means a lot. I think a lot of times East Springfield gets forgotten, but today's been really nice. We're really happy at, at, with all the support we're getting. The program is active in these neighborhoods. If you're a resident, you can call 311 to set up an inspection and get a tree planted for free anytime. If you want to help beautify East Springfield, there is another planting session scheduled for Saturday morning. Organizers ask volunteers to rendezvous at the Marshall Roy Park off of El Paso Street. Working for you, Duncan McLean, 22 News.